We're running out of time. <laughs> Wait, are you pressing the gas? No, you're not. That's the breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, it's, uh, it's dark out and we're just starting to trans pull on Spencer's car. Spencer took his car to our buddy Ty to get tuned today and uh, things didn't go so well. His trans for some reason wasn't going into gear and it's the same trans he had before he did all the go fast parts on his car and it's got a new clutch and everything so we're really not sure what's going on at this point. So he just brought it back. We already got it up on the lift. These guys are already going ham, getting the bolts all out. So we're about to drop the trans. If you guys didn't remember with Spencer's car, it has a, a ZF6. So me, Derek, we both run ZF5. Spencer used to run a five speed and then he recently switched to a six speed and it's been fine until now. So for whatever reason, it's not going into gear. So we're gonna pull it, we're gonna inspect everything. We're gonna see if it's a transmission thing or a clutch thing. Worst case scenario, we put his old five speed back in and all the five speed stuff. I'll let you guys know once we get to that point. But um, yeah, this is where we're at with this tonight. So I was at home working on Don's car. Spencer gave me a call, said, hey, I gotta pull the trans tonight, so here we are. I don't know if this is going in its own video or if it's gonna be with the Dawn video with the turbo car, but what happened? Oh, that Got wasn't it? as dramatic. No. Is it, dude, I heard the other yeah, one from outside. Yeah, those are pretty loud. <laughs> So we know that there was like grinding noises and we see wear marks here on the pressure plate. So that's gotta be what the wear noises were. Yeah, it's the fork touching it. Yeah, so Spencer said that when he would put the clutch more than halfway in, it would start grinding really bad and wouldn't go in and out of gears. So um, he thought that it was the clutch fork uh, hitting it. Right there. And yeah. Whenever you push it in, it was so I don't know if that means the throttle bearing's too short. And it's not. It wasn't like pushing the throttle bearing far enough to engage the clutch. What are you thinking? I don't know, dude. I really don't. This is kind of weird. Mind you guys, we have a week before we leave for Willow Springs, so we got to figure something out quick. And Spencer still has to get the car tuned. He has to tow it another another day, two hours to the shop and two hours back. So, Like you said, are those forks too far in? And that's... Is it possible the clutch got put in backwards? Fuck, I don't know. I don't think oh, like I see what you're saying. The forks it's, are already compressed. I'm pretty sure it's labeled unless they labeled it backwards. I say I we take like the pressure be, plate off. Yeah, yeah that, so like that is pretty compressed. Out. Yeah, that's already compressed. Like that looks like it's engaged. Well, let's pull the pressure plate off and that'll give us some more info. It's only six bolts. Might as well. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep putting the camera in your face so you don't have any chance to think you have to fucking respond. Here, here we go. Oh, I gotta turn the camera off. Oh. It's you demonetized. Is that a cigar? We get you demonetized. <laughs> Trust, I'm already demonetized. I lose money with every video. <laughs> lose money. <laughs> so, bear to the phone. What we came to is, we're gonna put a shim on here. Okay. Because the clutch disc is thicker than the old one, so it's making the pressure plate fins 
suck in farther so it's not enough it's not engaging it all the way and the clutch fork is hitting the pressure plate before the throttle bearing engages all the way so i'm going to put a shin on here oh, there goes the <laughs> So, so in theory that should work. It's a little loose, but whatever. What are we measuring out to? Was it saying reading in PSI? <laughs> <laughs> this is an old school gauge. I believe that's sixty fifth of an inch. Well that'd be that... six sixty thousandths of an inch. Yeah, so it's 65 thousandths of an inch. I don't know how much that is. What is that in English? Fucking <laughs> 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 All right, well, Spencer explained a little bit of what we discovered. We're not really sure. Like, it's hard to be sure until we put the trans back in and try it. So uh, it makes sense that the throttle bearing is basically just not pushing far enough and the fork is hitting the pressure plate before the throttle bearing is putting enough engagement onto the, onto the fingers. So... There's only one way to find out. Five seconds. Remember, we gotta go in as a fucked up pickles. angles. Yeah, what, which way did we turn it? We turned it this way? Yeah. So we gotta put it in it's sideways clear right here. and then turn it it's left. Clear this part. That's fucking yeah. 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 Alright, let's do it. So tilt it a little to the right as we put it in. Or before we go no, to the left. We'll get it both back up, put the slave back on, um, get the car back down a little bit, and see if it works. If, if the shim worked, we're good. If it didn't work, I guess what? We're gonna pull it again and put the five speed in? I don't know, it's like a bigger <laughs> shim. <laughs> we try another shim? I don't know. All right, we'll uh, let you guys know. It's on. Dude. These things are ugly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> These are ugly. This is like the worst part of the whole Hey, you guys at home watching this? This is how you know we're just regular ass car dudes. <laughs> <laughs> we just make shit work, man. Pretend YouTuber here, baby. What I mean? Hey, remember I had to put in, I have four different sized bolts in my Transcross member. <laughs> And I did it during drift week, like random hardware that we found. A little crooked there, bud. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out. You know the secrets to this. John Cena. <laughs> ba -ba. <laughs> I stopped fitting. I told you. Dude. Impact. No. Send her in. No. Loosen yours. No. <laughs> Kick the whole thing over. It can only fit one way. See? Ah. See? You know the, the See? secrets here. <laughs> you, just, you know the cheat codes for your own. the whole thing over and it threads in. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, watch out. You're 
Timberlake spawning me. Watch out, watch out, watch out. It's John Cena. I used to watch the shit out of WWE. Same, bro. <laughs> that was fun. I got no yeah, shame. It's John Cena! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so good. <laughs>so far so good but the thing is there's like steven said there's no resistance without the drive shaft in and the wheels on the ground so we're gonna put the drive shaft in put the car on the ground put a load on the clutch and see if it does it still because right now with no load it goes in and out smooth no grinding he can go through gears so we'll find out
uh, hopefully I can come back and film the rest or maybe I'll see if Spencer can film some stuff on his phone oh and just show you guys how he ends up shimming it and all that. But yeah, we're, we're going to fix it. So we don't really have a whole lot of other options, but for now, that's going to be it for tonight. We're running out of time. <laughs> All right, boys. Well, we are back at it again with uh, with the uh, Turbo E36. So last we left off, uh, we pretty much got the engine in, and we that was kind of it. You guys saw the manifold on it. It wasn't bolted down or anything, um, but we pretty much left there. So since then, we have gotten the turbo on. Uh, not fully bolted down, but we have it mocked up because um, in two days, we have to take the car to Secret Factory, for Rob to do all the intercooler piping and the wastegate and the downpipe and the full exhaust. So it's gonna be a busy day that day, lots to do, but we had to mock everything up. Well, we still have to mock everything up for him to be able to do that. So let's go over what's been done so far, kind of off camera, um, and we'll, yeah, give you guys an update. How's that sound? <laughs> all right, so first off, last you guys saw, we only had the back half of the turbo on, so now Don went ahead and put on the compressor side and we put the wastegate on and we have the coolant lines ran we have the oil line ran and the Built oil fancy return line oil return looking super cool if you guys watched the early episodes you remember rob at secret factory made the bung on the oil pan an 10 there and then our drain from the turbo is also an 10 I uh, went down to Tea Garden, picked up the fittings and everything to make this stainless steel braided covered rubber hose. And then I also bought some heat wrap for it. So uh, I used a 45 to connect it to the oil pan uh, fitting. And then the one to the turbo is a straight and we're just sneaking by by the hair on our ass crack here. If you look here, like I can't clock the turbo to where it's going straight down because it'll hit the flange for the turbo and then also our wastegate so like once again i said last time like the rsi manifold's great but it comes with with uh you know it, it has a catch and if you're looking at it you can't do a great drain and wastegates in a tough spot but we're gonna make it work and it's gonna go gonna make good noises and shit so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah so it looks pretty cool i'm glad uh we got that all figured out let's talk fuel man yeah now that's we're down what to you fuel. know about right that's why you're here <laughs> I knew all right it. so we have gone over the fuel system very elaborately and uh we drew a beautiful picture don actually drew a really really nice picture on, to show you guys i'll sell somebody this if anybody wants to buy it art right here all right so Don's gonna go. Hundred dollars, first bidder. Do I have a hundred? This is an NFT, boys. Hundred dollars. Okay, nobody's buying it. E36 anyway. NFT fuel system. That was dumb. Uh, <laughs> so here's our fuel system, guys. This is it. This is everything. My drawing is bad. My handwriting's bad. It's chalk. Leave me alone. So we're gonna start at the fuel pump. On the last episode, you guys saw me put in the Walbro 450. Um, we didn't go super in depth on installing it. We just went mainly in depth on attaching our 40 amp relay to that to make sure that our wires were big enough that we're gonna have plenty of power going to our pump. So from the pump, we're gonna come out and you have to run lines for E85. The ones coming off of the fuel pump are rubber lines and they're not rated for E85. So we went ahead, dropped the tank, replaced those lines with E85 rated uh, soft hose again and then we went to the hard lines of the chassis and from the hard lines we connect to a snake eater performance i think it's performance anyway snake eater e85 rated fuel filter um, and then from there we go to our fuel rail and the inlet on the fuel rail is the bottom connector and it's going to run through our rail feed our injectors and then out of the rail, we're gonna to go to the fuel pressure regulator. From the fuel pressure regulator, it's going to return down. And as it goes back to the tank, it's gonna hit our flux fuel sensor and it's gonna tell our engine what our fuel mixture is so it runs super sick and tight and that's 
fueling for you. F and all things. And then back to the tank. Also, I didn't include it in this picture. There is a fuel pressure sensor that is a must for this setup, especially running a standalone. And that is going to be in our fuel pressure regulator. So I have a Dishworks fuel pressure regulator. You want to make sure your regulator is one to one ratio. And then instead of running a gauge, you can run a sensor straight to your ECU. Or you can run a gauge. It's up to you. But yeah, so that's the setup. And then injectors. I don't know if we've gone over injectors, but come on, come on. Oh, man. Dude, look at these boys. Man, hogs are out, boy. Oh, yeah, that's upside down. Damn, son. Where'd you find that? Damn, son. So these are ID 1050s, uh, 1050ccs. These are a little bit overkill, I think, for our power level. But here's why. These injectors are super, not cheap, <laughs> <laughs> but they're super good. And the reason for that is... We can run them uh, without maxing out our duty cycle for our power rating. And then also, when it's at idle and stuff like that, it's not going to run rough. So that's the key to running injectors like this. So some injectors, when you are at idle, will literally be so large that they'll be dripping fuel. And it'll like stumble and be running slightly rich. Uh, for what the idle wants. So these can actually shoot very little fuel when it's at idle and makes it actually really smooth. So like it can go from putting very little fuel to a ton of fuel and not have to stumble in between or cause issues with your tune because you can't dial it in. So they're like more finely tunable. Right, they're like really precise, Yeah, essentially. So you get what you pay for. ID injectors are not the cheapest on the market by a long shot, but like Don explained, you basically get what you pay for. So better tuna, ca tuna capability. <laughs> tuna capability? <laughs> better. <laughs> it really depends. Yeah. Like you could have it set up with cheaper injectors and like if you don't really street drive it or like you literally only track the car, it's like fine. But I just didn't want to worry about it. Plus these are like... I'm never going to have any issues with, with yeah. these injectors. And really good. we can go up in power without having to change injectors. Also true. Yeah. yeah. So, like, we're and not running capped. 85 and everything. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, one of the expensive parts of the build, but very good. Got the throttle cable on. Wait, are you pressing the gas? No, you're not. That's the brake pedal. <laughs> I was like, I hear turbo I'm noise. so dumb. I'm like, wait for your reaction. I'm like, dude, I'm I like, hear turbo noises. Where's the freaking... There's no where's actuation. The <laughs> yeah, there you go. You got it. <laughs> There's two things we do around here. We wear our shirts tucked in, and we wear a belt. It's done. The <laughs> we use our electric ratchets here as manual ratchets. <laughs> I couldn't find the manual one, bro. Dude, Big Jimmy work. Oaks vibes right now. He always does that and people laugh at him. It works! <laughs> oh. What did we do wrong? <laughs> what is going on, dude? <laughs> what the hell? Closer. Yeah, we got to this point, too. And then I, we were like, oh, sick, it's good. And then he let the tensioner go. Never mind. It's not going to work. Maybe it will. Oh, oh, we're dumb. I was just looking at that too. Yeah, it's gonna have a lot of tension. There you go. And really. Oh, wow. How much are we gonna show them of our struggle? Dude, none of it. None, <laughs> none of it. <laughs> We're doing a turbo build. Leave us alone. We know what we're doing, kind of, sort of. I've been having long days. <laughs> long days, long nights. Yeah, Leave me alone. And what time are we waking up tomorrow for work? I gotta wake up before. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> in there. Got it. <laughs> well, I mean, I have to fucking drain hey, it, dude. God. You need to calm down. You know you're excited. <laughs> He's having some accidents. I made a little mess. <laughs>
Use hold the cooler. The, you want to hold up the... Oh, you've got a camera. Ow! <laughs> Drill bit right so in the rip. soft skin, dude. Soft skin. <laughs> oh my god, don't ever say that again. <laughs> Dude, my soft Go off skin, in the comments bro. right now about soft skin, please. Dude. I don't ever want to hear him say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right in the soft skin. Right in my fucking... What? Right in the tenderloin, dude. Dude, right... What's the softest skin on a human? Like, what, what part of... My heart. Dude, you're <laughs> done for the day. <laughs> Why don't you just get your power steering cooler on? My heart. <laughs> You're f***ing me. God, you can't use that. That was so aggressive. I used you saying You bleeped it. Oh, you watched. <laughs> yeah. How do you say I watched? I complimented you on your editing. Oh, yeah. There. Let's go, dude. That's not bad. I like that a lot. Um, before, it was I like... Look on the camera. Let me see this. Let me see this. Oh. Oh. Damn. <laughs> That's nice. That's fire. It's getting sucked off by our fan now. Ooh. Because we also have a shroud, which is very important. Love that it's getting sucked off like that. That's actually great. Your power steering is going to feel a lot better. Maybe it won't leak like every BMW ever. Because they're just boiling over all the time. Yeah, they're always... You can see there's like... It's wet. The car's why, not even ran yet. It's already is boiled it, over. Why is it wet? <laughs> Literally it's, haven't it's, started this engine. It's attention. unstoppable. <laughs> it's actually all on the ground, Damn, too. This thing do be looking pretty good, though. Let's put the intercooler up again. Yeah. Have we done that for them? No. Let's do that. Yeah. Now you're going to see the... Uh, the power steering <laughs> One and done. Hey, Patrick, look at this. I see. Look at the steering cooler. You mounted it in a new spot. Oh, that's good. You like Pretty that? Pretty good. I'm a fan of that. It worked out well. Did you have to redo the hoses? We cut an inch off of one. Perfect. And we rerouted it to go over this way bar instead. And you got to do it for the camera again. Yeah. Right there. How's that shit look, kids? That's right. Oh, that's pretty cool. Other than like the blue, oh, being so blue, we just gotta paint it for him. I was like, "What color do we paint all of them?" And I'm like, "I just want them silver. Like, I want them just alloy." Yeah. Yeah, we're doing the same thing we just did last night. But I guess we got the radiator. Open, so. Oh, that's yeah. right. I was gonna say, yeah, last night we tweaked out. We were just like, "Let's get the whole front end on." Take the grill bill. Just hold it for a sec. Grill bill. Grill bill. I saw some parts arrive. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, so. No what? No what? Chuck, can you just put it on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 